Good afternoon. We're from Mobolis. I'm Tanya. This is Caitlin and Logan. And yeah, we're going to present Oliver's case to you guys today. So just like Oliver, we know the struggle between choosing the smart path and choosing our passion. So can you go to our agenda? Today we're going to take you, we're going to introduce you to Oliver. We're going to introduce you to his problem, his financial situation. And then we're going to offer you three different solutions for his problem that we came up with. And then what we recommend he chooses from those three options. And then how he can implement them. And then we'll take your questions. All right, so Oliver, he's an 18-year-old male. So he's just some cute old teenager. Um, he's a people person. He has leadership from his basketball. And he was also um, the captain of his cameras. Uh, business strategy case team. Um, he has an entrepreneurial background and his parents were also involved in this so he's kind of been surrounded by this his whole life. Uh, he has a high risk tolerance which can be really really good which it has been in the past or it could end up being a liability in the future. Um, his finances are not his strength so he struggles a lot with managing his money and trying to keep things on track. And he has a dream. <laughs> So, Oliver's problem. He has received an amazing opportunity to go to Simon Fraser's University in BC with a full ride. He gets a scholarship for his textbooks and his four years in university. But he does want to pursue his entrepreneurship uh, dream of having his own popcorn business. <laughs> so I chose the time. <laughs> So Oliver has about two financial problems at this moment. Personally, he spends too much and he saves too little. Where he takes his income from his business, he's not putting away nearly as much as he is only saving $25 a month. With his business, we can see that they're making little to no money in their total net income, which is going to deflate and he doesn't have enough knowledge about this. So what we suggested, this is his rate now, so he's only saving about 4%, and we've decided that if he cut his expenses in half right now with his 625 salary income from his popcorn business, he could be saving up to 28%, which is such a high rocket if he just cuts his, his entertainment, his clothing, and his gifts in half. Since the majority of these are on entertainment, we find that it'll be easier for him to cut these in half and that they're like more frivolous expenses, especially if he wants to save and have options for his company. These are his financial statements. And so, <laughs> following this, his option one, which we have decided a plan for him to pursue, will be requiring, this will be his option to go to school and not go on his trip to Thailand. This will require Oliver to work with our new cut expenses from May until he leaves for school, where he can save uh, $888 until then. As Oliver was offered a full ride, and his only cost would be his estimated about $5,000 for his residency. As Oliver has $5,000 sitting in a savings account, we can use that to pay for his first year of residency. And we can cut another $20 from his spendings for his food, as his residency will include a full meal plan for the year. We also recommend that Oliver gets a part-time job during his stay at Simon Fraser University as he needs to cover the rest of his expenses. Until he comes back in May and he can pursue his career again and he can go into his uh, popcorn business until he leaves for the next fall. With this option, he can also he can go back to his business after he's done his degree, but he can get all this knowledge. So the pros would be, with his student loans, as before, he probably would not have gotten a good credit rate or like a good loan because he'd have no credit. But with his student loans, he can pay those off and receive good credit. He can gain experience and knowledge in his field. He can gain business partners or employees with his classmates as they will all follow similar passions and dreams. He won't be taken out by a bigger fish as if he was a young kid starting his own business, there might be older people or people with more business experience who think, hey, that's a good idea. You have no money. You have no experience. I'll take that idea. See you, kid. Um, he can work during his business still during spring and summer. 
He can also double his first estimated income of $60,000 with his degree as he will have more experience and more likely to gain a bigger business. And as he said, in his, he said there shows no sign of slowing down in his uh, field of popcorn. The cons, though, will there be less yearly time towards his business, so his passion does go on the back burner, but only during the fall and winter. He'll be missing a trip with friends, he might have a long distance girlfriend, and there'll be the cost of living, and it'll not have the same income and savings, but after his degree he can return to all of these things, and he can come back in May and through summer and work through it still, and he's not totally giving up on his dream. Oh, sorry, it is. <laughs> we have option two. All right, so we have our option two, which is he kind of gets the best of both worlds, uh, where he can go on his trip with his friends that he's been planning, uh, and also get an education. With this option, he does have to put his passion for his business on the back burner as well. But in this situation, um, he gets like the pros of this situation is that he gets to go on a trip, he gets to get new experiences with his friends, he can get new brand new ideas for his businesses in the future, perhaps expanding his popcorn flavorings to different uh, varieties. Um, he will also get an education which of course after he gets his degree will help him uh, uh, get a better business and have a more solid foundation for his future plannings. Um, he will also um, he will also get a student loan, probably to pay off his um, $5,000 uh, uh, residency debt, which will allow him to start uh, getting a credit score and getting a credit history, which will allow him then, for continuing into the future, if he does want to get a loan for his business, to get a better percentage on his loan and get a better deal with that loan. The cons of this is that he does um, have to, of course, put his business on the back burner, and he does um, spend around $3,500 uh, $3, from his savings, from his original savings of $5,000 on the strip. So he will have to pay off a longer loan in the future. And we've only known Oliver for about three hours, but we know this is his dream, so we included an option three for him. So Oliver really, really wants to have his popcorn business, and um, we gave him the option of being able to use his $5,000 from personal savings that he has, and then we recommended that he didn't take the trip, because if you take the trip, he doesn't have money to pay for a $7,000 trip. He'll be in debt, which will not help him with his company. Um, and we decided to, once again, cut his entertainment, food, gifts, and clothes expenses in half which helps him to save $2,064 a year, which within the next, a pro of that is that um, within the next 14 years, he'll be able to have his $30,000 in capital to invest in his business. And on top of it, he's following his dream and his passion, and he's able to do what he absolutely loves. Uh, the cons are that he wouldn't be able to go on the trip, and it's maybe also a little bit more of a high-risk solution, just because he won't have that education, like that official education, to be able to back him up and to have a better understanding of those finances that he struggles with so much. So for our final recommendation, we have chosen option one, where he will have his background in business education, he will get his degree, he will have his experience, he will learn more from it, and will still be able to pursue his dream. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. He just has to make sacrifices in order to get the best possible outcome. We did this by weighing our pros and cons and deciding which was less likely to be high risk and that's why we chose first. And then it also saves money and it's just such an amazing opportunity to get a full ride to such an amazing school that we thought that it was once in a lifetime and he said there was no, his business was not slowing down, the industry was not slowing down, it'll be there when he comes home. He even has a partner back home, Carter, who runs it, which he could probably rely on, but we had not enough information to depend on Carter. So we just thought that option one was the safest and the smartest for our Oliver to pursue. All right, so the, for the implementation, uh, we said short term, he would just have to cut his expenses, like right away, his food, entertainment, clothes, gifts. Um, that really helps him save a lot of money. 
Um, and then after that, he would have to look for a loan, probably for his residency, to help pay for that since he's not going to be working as much. And then uh, long term, we said he would be able to have this education and he would be able to have a very solid foundation for his business that he wants to have. And um, it's a lot safer of an option. And uh, once again, like this is a, he has an amazing opportunity to go for coll to college or university for four years for free, pretty much, except for the um, residency, which honestly is an amazing opportunity. And anyone that gets that opportunity should totally take it. Yeah, that's that was our decision. Thank you so much for listening and questions. <laughs> you mind if I take it first again? Uh, you guys brought this up, but you didn't quite explore it, um, it, it deeply after. So with your with your recommendation there of him going away, you brought it up that this is a booming business. What's to stop someone in that town while he's gone for eight months at university coming in and saying, this is a booming business, I'm going to start up a bigger, better business that's doing the exact same thing? Well, I, think by, um, <laughs> I think by, even though like there is a chance of that happening, um, I feel like it's a lot safer to just go and get that education. Because even if, like he's an entrepreneur, even if he does get have that one thing taken away from him, he has so many more ideas that he can explore and he'll be a lot more prepared to deal with that situation in the future, which I think is overall just a way better way to go and it's way safer. And I think because he hasn't gone full head Force yet, and he hasn't brought it up to bigger companies. Nobody has really seen his popcorn business as far as it has gone so far. So there's less big fish that are <laughs> circling him right now. But if he like pursued it and actually tried to get sponsorships and investments, he even wanted to make a GoFundMe page, then it'll draw much more attention to his ideas and what he wants. So if right now he puts it on the back burner, keeps it his idea, his pot of gold, then later he can bring it up again and maybe less people have like try to take it from him. Thank you, that's a good answer. I can't do more. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> question. Yeah. I guess I can follow on to that too. Um, I had a question with that option as well where you're suggesting he goes to school for a good portion of the year and then in the summer months he comes back and runs the business. Uh, do you see any challenges with him being a part-time business, or do you think it's a business that really lends itself to that format and it wouldn't harm him to sort of be on and off like that? I believe that maybe it would be harder because he can't really balance it from his schooling. He can't do double time, as, especially if he needs a part-time job there. He won't be able to focus on it. But I also believe that it will be more of a summer business as well, you know, weddings, events, that will be more needing his product, but I think it will still remain local and small in the meantime. It will not like produce into this large company during the summer, so yes, it will have to still be smaller, but it will be less, less risks because it will stay small, whereas he wants to make it big right away, but if he stays in the university, stays, he can keep it small, and he won't have to worry, like he can't go in the summer and make it big, he'll have to keep it, yeah. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, Oliver's lived a, lived a pretty good life with a pretty good budget for an 18 year old. Um, did, did, did you consider how challenging it might be to get him to change his habits? Uh, he seems to spend a lot of time with friends and have a lot of fun and once you get used to that life it's hard not to continue that. Uh, yeah, we did talk about that and that's why we really focused on cutting down mostly um, our gifts and our clothing and our, um, our entertainment slash food just because um, when we focused on all of the criteria those were the three main ones that we thought that we could probably convince him the most to take change to take charge and change in himself plus especially if he will be going to school his food costs he won't even notice it changing because he will have those meal plans that he has already paid for so therefore he would only have to focus on changing mainly the um, entertainment part of it which, of course, um, if he does live in residence, he's going to have plenty of friends who live there and maybe could do things indoors and maybe not go out as much. Plus, when he does move away, the gifts portion of it for the first year will probably go down because he will be a new kid, probably won't have that many friends to spend money on. Um, <laughs> and, of course, we also consider the help from his parents that he will might receive for the first year of him being in university. Okay. 
But you are right. We had to take it with a grain of salt that an 18-year-old who's yeah. been partying and living luxurious, yeah, cut that in half. He'll be like, you guys are joking, right? But <laughs> we have to tell him, if you want to be serious about your business, serious about your education, serious about your life and your passions, that takes sacrifices. And I think because Oliver has shown that he is such a serious businessman from a young age, he'll have to learn to go through these sacrifices and that in the end they aren't the biggest sacrifice and they will pay off the largest as he will be able to enjoy more clothes, more entertainment, more food as, as a proper business in the long run. Yeah, exactly. But you are right that like telling an 18 year old he can't go out as much will probably not be so successful. But I think Oliver with his his passion and his dreams, he has to learn one day or another that you have to make sacrifices for such things and nothing will change unless you do. Thank you very much. Yeah.